Hello everyone, let's start with another question. So it says test if the following equations are dimensionally correct or not. So in this case we have first equation as h equals 2s cos theta over rho r g rho is density here. So let's start with it and find out whether the dimensional formula is correct or not. So on the left hand side, for left hand side we have h. So h dimensional formula is L only. Now the next side that is RHS side. So let us start with all the equations. So we have 2s cos theta. Now s can be written as that is surface tension can be written as m t raised to power minus 2. Then we have cos theta. Cos theta will be considered as constant. So 1 over rho that is density. Density can be written as m l raised to power minus 3. Then we have R. R is again in length. Then we have G. So G is in L and T raised to power minus 2. So T raised to power minus 2, T raised to power minus 2 gets cancelled. We have now M. Then we have M and M as well gets cancelled out. So we are left with L, L and L raised to power minus 3. So 2 is again a constant so we will ignore that and write 1 here. So L raised to power minus 3, L raised to power 2. So when we add them minus 3 and minus 2 that will be 1. So L raised to power minus 1. So if we bring L raised to power minus 1 at numerator we get L. So therefore left hand side equals RHS. So therefore we can say that it is dimensionally correct. Now B part, B part is B equals under root of B that is pressure over density. So let's find out whether it is same or not. B equals under root B over rho. Now B is D over T. So therefore the dimensional formula for left hand side is L T raised to power minus 1 and dimensional formula for right hand side is Right, let's write for pressure first. So pressure is m l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 2. And over rho. Rho is density. So density is m l raised to power minus 3. So now m and m gets cancelled out. We are left with l and t quantities. So it, it will be l raised to power minus 1. Then plus 3. Then we have t raised to power minus 2. So here we have l raised to power minus 1 plus 3. That is minus, sorry, plus 2. Then t raised to power minus 2. And over the value, half. So when we bring half inside, we get l and we get t raised to power minus 1. Which is similar to the left hand side. So left hand side equals right hand side. So therefore this part b is correct as well. Let's start with the third part. So it has V equals pi P R raised to power 4 T over 8 Nita. Nita is coefficient of viscosity and then L. So let's write the left hand side first. So left hand side dimension would be V that is volume. So volume dimension is L Q. Now let us write for right hand side. So right hand side pi is constant. We won't write any quantity. For P it is M. L raised to power minus 1, T raised to power minus 2. Then for R4, then you need to write L raised to power 4. Then we have T. T is time period time, so it will be in T. Then over the value 8 is constant, so no dimension. Then we have Nita coefficient of viscosity. Coefficient of viscosity is M L raised to power minus 1, T raised to power minus 1. Then we have L again. So it will be L. Now we need to find out which values can be cut down. So M and M. L raised to power minus 1 and L. Then we have. Then we need to simplify further. So it, it will be L raised to power minus 1 and 4. So that means L raised to power 3 only. Now we have L raised to 
uh, t raised to power minus 2 and d raised to power 1. So minus 2 plus 1 and then we have minus 1 at the bottom. So it will be plus 1. So L cube then t raised to power 0. So you can see that we have only L cube at the right hand side. So left hand side equal right hand side. Again this is dimensionally correct. Now the d part of it that is v equals 1 over 2 pi under the root mgli. So let's find out whether d is correct or not. v equals 1 over 2 pi under root mgl over i. So in this case the v is the dimension, dimension for v is t raised to power minus 1. So this is my left hand side. Now we need to solve for the right hand side. So it will be 1 over 2 pi is constant so no value. Under the root for m it will be m only. For g it will be L t raised to power minus 2. Then L is as it is again. Then we have I. I is moment of inertia is M L square. So M and L value gets cancelled out. We are left with t raised to power minus 2 under the root. So we know that it is half. So it will be t raised to power minus 1. So you can see that the left hand side dimension is similar to the right hand side dimension. So we can say again the d part is dimension correct. So that's all for this question. Thank you for watching.